everybody, welcome back to The Finding. I'm your boy, Dennis Ngango. Oh, I'm Simon Banza, Mr. Fresh Face, no Banza. Hey! And you know what's good? It's okay, what's up? If I'm for sure, I'm the good skin in the bandage. I must lie with the clouds, so close to the ground, so we all just sky. We really do all types of sky. Mm -hmm. We do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought them together because I thought it would be really dope to do a DMC with the boys. Speak to them about the road less traveled. I was speaking to Normal earlier and she said, an entrepreneur is someone who jumps off a mountain and as they are falling, they basically put the airplane together. Ah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's something both of you have done in the YouTube space. What has been the toughest part of taking that leap? I think the most difficult part for me starting out was all the critique from people who weren't doing it. That was a, that was a real difficult part of it, dealing with people who were telling you how to do something that they've never done before. I think for me, keeping on the energy of jumping off the, what is it, a bridge or a... It's a, it's a mountain. mountain. Yeah. Jumping off the mountain and building the airplane. Yeah. The hardest thing about it is looking to your left and your right yeah. and then seeing your peers in an airplane. Oh, yes. Who are already. Yeah. You know, so they are comfortable in their jobs and stuff like that and they are getting determined money yeah. 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 every end of the month. So the airplane corner. Yeah. Uh, SAAE. <laughs> Yeah. British Airways. Yeah, British Airways. Yes. And sometimes you check your pocket and you don't even have the ring. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm going far with this energy. Right? <laughs> yeah, we yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. 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 So you check your pocket sometimes on a wing. Mm. So you don't know how. Sometimes you do find a balloon that makes you glide for like a few minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then it will too many. So it's com it's hard not to compare yourself yeah. to the other skydivers. Yes. But then how do you push yourself through those points? Um, see how do you push your <laughs> I, I think you just I, try your best not to listen to the noise and, and let everybody else doing their thing motivate you. I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, looking at other people and, and just being like, damn, I wish I was there. But it's just what you do with that feeling thereafter. I think if you use that feeling to sort of push you to where you want to be, that um, it can only work for you from yeah. there. I think from my side, I'm, I'm still a little bit that person. Everybody knows I'm a little bit competitive, but overall, I, I just use it to, to make myself better. But I think that feeling also gives you the opportunity to navigate the industry and mm -hmm. figure out what exactly you want to do and yes. why you're doing it. Because if that doesn't make sense for you, then pushing through and trying to build this airplane becomes somewhat impossible and you're really just going to fall flat on the ground yes yep and you don't want that because yeah that's going to crash <laughs> do you have a quitting point yo i think i'm i'm lucky enough that that youtube doesn't leave a lot of space for you to just say like i'm done i'm not doing it anymore it's it's such a a fun like playful way to to hold your creativity that yeah. if something happens and something just doesn't work out you can just try again it's not life and death if my video is bad nobody loses money nobody dies nobody like nothing that i'm not a surgeon where if i make a mistake somebody's gonna die on the table people always ask me when are you gonna are you ever gonna stop youtube and my answer is always no even if something comes about that's better i don't think i'd ever stop youtube maybe i'll create less content but youtube as a whole something that I'd never ever quit and I don't think I'd ever get there. There was a time where I thought I would. I think I started my channel, I got maybe 200 subscribers and then nothing for like two months. And I was like, whoa, I'm really bad at this. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stop, maybe it's not for me. And then I did stop for like two months and then I went back and I was like, you know what, this was actually fun. So I'm gonna go back yeah. and do it some more. And then it turned into all of this. So I'm glad I never did and I don't think I ever will. Uh, it's the main point for me. It's finished now. Dropped out of, <laughs> dropped out of university twice. Yeah. Don't watch this video and say hey, now. Please you. don't. Because yeah. we will both drop out. Yeah. Don't don't drop out of school. But I'm a graduate. <laughs> <laughs> wow! No, hey, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the graduate is into the <laughs> <laughs> <dramas. laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate you did that. <laughs> Let me see. Yes, George. Um, <laughs> I dropped out because I, I have that feeling which is, this is what I was meant to do. Mm. It's, it's that thing, you know, we all have those things that keep us up at night turning the duvets and saying hi, <laughs> all of those things. And for me, it was school, you know, waking up thinking with you, we have to write and stuff like that, have to study, which is like, I'm not knocking it, mm. but I knew which I'd rather be coming up with content because, because I, I was doing something killing me, I was doing accounting. <laughs> Hey, just give me cables, you know, <laughs> CPJ, yeah. uh, balance debits, what, what? 
I used to copy from Sasha. Yes, <laughs> yes, the will be. So I knew what you know what? Here, my problem, my, my theory is I never do anything unless I have a chance and that I know that I have a chance to be the best at best. It. Yeah. So if I was to start playing basketball today, I know I'll quit in a few weeks, a few days, because I know I wouldn't be able to compete with Abel LeBron. Mm-hmm. I am in YouTube because I know well, there's a chance which I'll be one of the greatest content creators of all time in South and in the world, hopefully. Yeah. That's why I, that, that's what keeps pushing me. So I think my, my quitting point would be that moment where I feel like I, maybe I won't be as great as the greatest people. And and not that I doubt other people, but right now, I feel like I can just give up many people. Like, yeah. I feel like I, I will be great. I feel like I'm one of the greatest already. Come on. So, it, it, guys, yes, I have the lowest self-esteem when it comes to everything. Mm-hmm. I, Sasha always fights me with the movie and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> always say in movie. I always say, I have the lowest self-esteem when it comes to everything. But this thing mm-hmm. that I'm doing, which is content creation and like what I put onto film, I feel like I'm literally one of the best. This video will be so valuable mm. in five years and ten years. my favorite. Because Dennis is going to be interviewing one of the greatest yes. yeah. people. Joe Mafela, yes. you know? Okay, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that name. Okay, what's up? Instead of a no one, yes. George Mbunda. Uh, okay. you know, it's going to be like that. You're going to be mentioning my name. Yeah. With the I like I like what you're saying. I, I actually want to ask you a question while I'm also answering at the same time. Do you ever feel that thing where, um, what you're talking about, you being great, where the only time you find yourself like, I'd say scared and excited at the same time is when you know that something is within your reach. Yeah. Like I I I've. I, growing up, I never thought that there was ever a potential of me making like a million rand and I, it never bothered me. I, it was never a thing where I was like, damn, I'm never going to make a million, damn, I'm never, or like it's never something that excited me too, where I was like, one day I'm going to make a million. I was just in the middle about it. Mm-hmm. And then when I started making money and finding out that maybe one day I will do it, mm-hmm. yeah. that's when you're like, okay, wait, and it becomes a thing in your head. Um, same thing with uh, career-wise where like you only start getting i think you get scared of losing things once you know they're in reach sure like i never yeah. i never worried about being the best youtuber ever um in south africa until it was something that was in reach until people said you have the potential then i was like okay now i'm scared and yes. um, do you ever feel that where you like now that things are in reach now i'm a little bit worried because i never ever thought about it before yeah because people put you on a pedestal yeah, yeah. once you do some stuff people put you on a pedestal and Unfortunately, you won't be able to create gold all the time. Mm, yeah. There's going to be some doubts yeah. and stuff like that. But people put you on a pedestal, and now you, see, you end up seeing yourself in that pedestal, and then you fall. That that pedestal makes you uh, want to impress the people mm. and forget which, why you started on. You started to impress yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as long as you keep impressing yourself, I think you you'll be you'll be fine. You'll, you'll reach the potential that you want to reach. Mm. So as much as accolades and praise. Is so great. Mm. I think at the end of the day, you shouldn't lose sight of why you're doing it. Yeah, because if people, if people, if people's praises are why you're doing it, if hype is why you're doing it, then it's so variable. It's mm. such yeah. a thing that can that can go away like this. Because mm. praise can go away like this very quickly. Yeah. As soon as very you very quickly. do some go somewhere people don't like, yeah. you lose that praise. You lose that accol- those accolades. But if you want to talk, if you want to shoot something or talk about something that makes you feel good, mm. and, when, and you see when you watch this thing, you will know you feel good when you are good. Yeah, I'm good. When, when, you say, <laughs> when you say I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. You feel it. Yeah. That's when you know which I'm. At. This is why I'm doing it. Yeah. I mean, I just impressed myself. Did I really just create this? Is this mine? Mm. Does it have my name in the front in the title? Then I think you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah, but I think the, the conversation of greatness is something that always has to happen yes. internally. Mm. Yes. Because if you put too much responsibility external, then, yeah. as you said, things vary and things yeah. don't really yes. push forward. For people who want to take the road less travel, mm. and you have to put a starter pack together mm. for the people, um, what are three things that you would definitely include? Okay, we're going to do this together. Mm. <laughs> I think the one for me, the one that's a big one, is allowing yourself to be vulnerable 
that for me is one of the most important things ever because um, if you don't allow yourself to be vulnerable, you'll never be sort of courageous. You'll never be brave. And if I'm, if you're not if you're not a brave person, it will be very difficult to take the road less traveled. Because yeah. there's no pathway there. You just have to go in the grass and make your own way through and hope that something is going to be on the other side of that. So I think the one thing for me is allowing yourself to be vulnerable so that you can leave space for being brave. Yeah, that that's dope. Yeah. I think selective earmuffs. Mm, yeah. <laughs> because there's some things you need to listen to, and there's some things you need to flush out. Yeah. Because um, criticism is great, praise is great, yeah. but then there's, then there's just trash yeah. that just comes in at your way yeah. because of people who are projecting insecurities yeah. onto you. People who thought about doing it and they, they never did it. Yeah. Mm. So the, the fact that you are stepping. Um, towards that, that that path is very scary to people also it's very it makes you look at yourself and say i should have done that yeah, yeah. because as soon as you remind people of stuff that they should have done then you become an enemy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you can't, you can't yeah. like jealous just starts to arise so mm. i think listen to some criticism mm. we can even listen to some some of the trash mm. you can but just make sure it never hits you yeah yeah it never like Make, stops you from turning on that camera mm-hmm. because people always all, all the time ask me good day Joe. I'm about to start a YouTube channel what is your advice because they want to hear those affirming I, you know you know you know what you want to hear before you ask me that question yeah, yeah. you want to hear start the channel yeah start the channel if this is what you want to hear from from us start the channel yeah what the first week first month first year even if it's on 50 subscribers even if it's on 100 subscribers that doesn't matter mm. because Great, they are giving you the time. Uti, when the 10,000 subscribers comes, then you've already refined yeah, yeah. So your, your, your yeah. talent. You're already on there. So I feel like listen to, selective listening is so great because, and you need to know Uti, what is trash and what is constructive criticism and what is praise. Just yeah. And never let it get to your head because that is so dangerous too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think just to round it off with, with everything, the final one I think for me would be keeping the right people around you. Yeah, I was um, say support yeah as well. the, the support system yeah. is a huge thing because we like George was saying, with all the people who are gonna talk trash to you, um at the end of the day, as long as you have the positive people around you, um it really, really helps. I know like George has his mom, his brother, George has Sasha, um I have Busha, I have my mom, I have my family, um people who uh like at the same time, the people who hype me up and people who are also ready to be like, you need to relax. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. and, and also, we all have each other in that ecosystem. So I think having the right people around you, because um, if you're going to go the road less traveled, so many things are going to go wrong all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to get hurt very, very often. Yeah. Um, but if you have the right people around you, they can always keep you up and, and keep you going. Yeah, Yeah, I agree 100% with the, the support, I think. Mm-hmm. You need people to help you navigate as well. Because sometimes you're so within the field or you're so struck in a certain way that yeah. you just need people to help you see yeah. and help you push through. Gents, thank you, thank so, you much. so much for featuring Undefining. Plug yourself, do yourself. Um, wow, there's a lot. Subscribe to Simon Banza, subscribe to Mom Banza, subscribe to Arcade ZA. Um, yeah, that's that's all me. Follow me on Twitter at Simon Banza. So, one of the Hey. Trust me. Trust me. So, I'm. Um, like you heard, I'm Okay Wasabi. Okay, I'm a score Wasabi. You can find Okay Wasabi on YouTube. You can find uh, Sushi with Wasabi. Uh, it's a channel with the most beautiful women in the world. Uh, as soon as you see a beautiful girl, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so Sushi with Wasabi, Okay Wasabi. Follow me on Twitter, I'm Okay Wasabi. And on Instagram, Okay Wasabi. Thank you. Thanks, gents. Thanks for having Do the us. things, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to Defining. Subscribe to Defining. How many subscribers are Defining have now? We had 5.7. Okay, so remember when I was like, try to get uh, Defining to what? What was it? A thousand? Two thousand? We it was 2K. It was 2K. 2K. <laughs> I was like, try to get Defining 2K. to 2K. I guess you guys uh, heard it and you overdid it a little bit. Calm down. <laughs> um, but get 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 Defining to 10K. 10K. I think this is it now. This is 10K. Yeah. These videos. Take this moment to get into 10k yes this is the defining moment come on somebody <laughs> <laughs> you define the <laughs> <laughs>